Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Lane, and we are here at the New York Historical Society, and it's all about the Roaring Twenties, with a special performance by crooner, band leader, and entertainer, Mr. Dandy Wellington. Keep watching, darlings. More coming up right here at Cognac's Corner Magazine. In champagne kisses. Uh, to give a shout out to all the fabulous, strong, and amazing women that are in the room today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's hear it for the women, ladies and gentlemen, the Women's March is today. And although uh, Women's History Month is in March, what's happening here at the New York Historical Society is preempting that, ladies and gentlemen. In February, Women's March. Women's March, an exhibit, is, is going to be here at the end of February, just in time for March, folks. Celebrating women and all the things that they've worked for and have achieved in this country. Make sure you come and see what's happening here at the New York Historical Society for that and for many other things. Here's a little tune that was inspired by a very strong woman, Honeydew.
I believe it's going to be beneficial for us to dress up in all those flashy vintage outfits that they wore back in those days. And it's also going to create a resonance to us uh, in the many months to come. So I just hope that for the many vintage enthusiasts out there, and especially for those who are attending the party tonight, it's a very big experience. And for me personally, as a, as a vintage enthusiast myself, uh, it's a great feeling. And hopefully, um, we can all go back to a time where life was much simpler. This, instead of the political incorrectness that's going on at that time, but nevertheless, the uh, 1920s will forever will be America's greatest decade. Why is that? Why is it America's greatest decade in the 1920s? What was so special about it? Well, the 1920s for us, even though we were emerging from a time when World War I was emerging across Europe and portions of Africa, for those who don't know, um, a majority of the Americans, and especially the Europeans as well, experienced a revitalization of themselves towards their own destiny. And by that I mean, by the time uh, the 1920s came around, even before, the, even after the 1920s, I mean before the 1920s came around, and especially thereafter, um, we started to experience a growth of vitality, a growth of Vigor that we've never experienced before, and that is why it still appeals to us today. Because in those days, women were just coming out of the Victorian age where everything was forbidden and everything was so, uh, well, shall we say, um, not to normalize in a way that affected their moral behavior as far as their, um, as far as their, um, their right to advocate for themselves is concerned. So. Even after the 1920s came around, and even after also further decades beyond, it taught us that to be liberated and to also be instilled in the spirit and vigor of things to come, and also the joviality of what it is to feel great in your heart, that resonates to us. And I believe the 1920s were uh, a component of that. And even though uh, it's been 100 years, since the 1920s and there's going to be lots of revivals of the 1920s and our customs in those days uh, we just hope that we just hope that it's going to stay for a very long you are somebody that really has a lot to uh, a lot to tell i mean you know a lot about the 1920s yes. and history yes. why it's so fabulous now tell my audience as a writer where can we go to learn more information about you do you have a website well, I'm on Facebook, but for many events that cater to the vintage of Lee, I suggest you go on to um, PaulRichardProductions.com, I mean, .org, 
and they have all the vintage events there that they list in order to satisfy the majority of the vintage elite and also there's some big events coming up. Um, there's also uh, the Jazz Age Long Party. If you don't know what that is, it's one I know what hell is it? Yes, um, the Jazz Age Long Party um, happens every year. Uh, I believe this year is their 12th year doing it at Governor's Island. Uh, tickets go on sale on February 3rd, but the entire event is going to be on June 14th. I mean, June 13th and June 14th. So, um, for further information, um, uh, go on their web, go on, go on Google and click up uh, Jazz Age Long Party, and they have uh, more information there. Can we follow you on Facebook? Yes, I'm also on Instagram as well. Tell us your web Instagram page. Eddie Abreu 982. Spell it. E D D I E A. B R E U 982. Gorgeous. Give me a kiss, darling. And we'll be back, darling, to more interviews right here at the New York Historical Society with Dandy Wellington. More coming up. Pick champagne kisses. Just saying, just in case you were wondering. I'm so weary of him all alone. Feet are tired like heaven stone. Traveling, traveling. Oh, oh, who will see and who will pay for this love that I must bear? Traveling, traveling, all alone. I sent you heaven above, but my burdens was in love. Had walked down in misery, nothing now appears to me.
Tell to all. My name is Akil Apollo Davis, coming to you from New York. We are loving it here. Danny's on stage. We've got art. We've got beautiful art, beautiful people. I'm loving to be here. <laughs> Tell my audience why you're such a big supporter of the Warren Twenties. Uh, I think that the time of the music was pretty revolutionary. You know, uh, cultural, you know, cultural things aside, in terms of uh, race and uh, gender, what the art that was being generated at that time, I think had a really nice authenticity to it. It was clean, it was really, really uh, precise. What about um, lines, details, you know, it was classy. So, and then, uh, you know, we moved on. No, very yeah, very, very elegant, and I like that. I like the style. I like the language too. You know, the mean old the background. Yeah, yeah, the music and dancing. The clothing was impeccable. Clothing is impeccable. Yeah. 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 Yeah
accompaniment. So sometimes I watch them with my own music on on a different uh, tab on my computer. But well, I, my this is the 1930s. Well, my favorite actress, which I kind of um, inspired by, is James Cagney. Oh, she's great. Her. Yeah, I'm a big fan of James Cagney too, and they're yes, both in James his, Cagney, his breakout right? movie, Public Enemy. Has her in it. She's yes, what, what she a character. Was gorgeous. Yeah. And of course, he was great in White Heat. Oh, Gene Arlo. Oh, no, I, I, just yeah, Cagney. Yeah. yeah, that's later than you think it is. I'm always I surprised. I forget the year, but it's in the 1950s. No, no, it's in the 30s. It's in White the 30s. Heat. Yeah, White Heat. Yeah, it's in the 30s. Okay, I'll check it again. Okay. Check it again. He says <laughs> on the top, top well, of the great. world, Mom. Top of the world. Right. Well, it was such a delight to talk to you. Um, tell my audience, Al, how long have you been with this particular band? I've been working with Dandy since, well, for almost nine years going on, so. Nine years? That long? I think so. And how many places have you uh, performed at here in New York? I've never kept track of that, but it seems like every time I go to a new one, I pass an old one I forgot about. Wow. Now, what's next for you as a musician? I'm sorry? What's next for you as a musician? What would you like to do? What's your What's your biggest challenge? Oh, gee. Um, I plead the Fifth Amendment. Ah, uh, you plead the Fifth Amendment. Now, if we want to follow you, can we follow you on Facebook? Absolutely. I have a personal Facebook page at Mike Davis, and then I lead a band called The New Wonders that has a Facebook page, and I'm also on Instagram at Mike Davis Jazz. Mike Davis Jazz. Right. Now, have you always loved this kind of music from way, way back? No, I got into it hearing it played live when I was about 20. Okay, well that's encouraging for yeah. all the young people out there. There's a lot of good stuff live today. It's 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 really happening and you can go see it and it's it's here. One more time, the website, the Facebook page. Facebook is Mike Davis or The New Wonders. Instagram is at Mike Davis Jazz. My darling, that is me. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews. Keep watching, darlings. Pink champagne kisses. Productions, darlings.